Hey cuties, it's Amy. I've come together with other Kin Community creators for an ornament exchange collaboration. At random, we each got assigned a partner to make an ornament for, and I got Meg Allen Cole. If you haven't seen her channel yet, be sure to check it out and subscribe. Stay tuned to the end of this video so you can check out the cool ornament I received in this exchange. And be sure to watch the entire playlist to get all kinds of creative ideas. Walk you through the ornament I made. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need a photo, white felt, fabric scissors, a ruler, glue gun and stick, stapler, twine, white cardstock, paper trimmer, a light colored marker, crochet thread, and a hand sewing needle. Cut the white cardstock down to three by four inches. You can place it down on your felt as a guide and using a ruler, draw a straight line all the way down. Take your scissors and cut along the line. Your final piece should measure 3 and 1 8 inch on one side and 8 and a quarter inch on the long side. Grab your twine and your ruler and measure out a piece that is 18 inches long. We're basically going to crochet with our fingers, so you'll take your twine Wrap it in a loop where the shorter end is underneath the longer end, thread your fingers through, and pull. This will create the first knot, and then you'll want to repeat the process. Except the subsequent loops will not be pulled as tightly. You'll see a braid-like pattern forming as you continue to pull loops through, always adjusting the twine so that you don't pull it all the way through until you are almost at the end of your rope. Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like we are there now, so just pull it all the way through, forming a knot. Now, tie the two ends together. This will become the loop that allows your ornament to hang. So grab the 3x4 piece of cardstock, along with a stapler, and secure with two staples. Special. Grab your piece of felt and fold it in half. We now want to cut the window for our photo to show through. The way I'm doing it is how I figured out this whole DIY, but it might be much easier to just cut a piece of cardstock to two and a half by two and three quarter inches, trace it onto the inside with your marker, and cut on the line with scissors. This is designed to have a quarter inch border along the top and the sides. The bottom part measures three quarter inch. The result is sort of in between an Instax photo and an old Polaroid. This part is completely optional, but if you want to add some interest and embroidery on the back, you can take your marker and freehand draw a heart. You could definitely use a template as well. I was going for a very handcrafted look, so I drew the heart a bit wonky, and I wrote the G for Grace the dog inside of the heart. Next, thread your needle with either crochet thread in size 10 or embroidery floss. Cut it no longer than the length of your arm and tie two knots at one end. When hand sewing, I like to have a long tail and a short tail. The long tail is the one that gets the knots. The G will be backstitched and the heart will be chain stitched. until you reach the top of the heart. That's where you'll knot it 
and you'll begin the process again at the bottom of the heart and loop around to the other side. Everybody gather around Gaze above Call your friends and family When you've gotten to where you're at your last loop, go ahead and pull it all the way and then tack it down just on the outside of the loop, right through there. Turn it over, tie two knots, and trim off the excess string. Great job on the stitching. Now what we want to do is cover up the back by attaching our cardstock with our glue gun, apply glue generously, and flip it over and press down right onto the felt. Next, apply some glue along the bottom so that you can fold your piece of felt up, essentially creating a pocket for your photo. You could also definitely glue gun the sides, or I'm going to show you how you can sew it by hand. Sewing through cardstock and felt can be a little bit tricky, but it puts a nice twist and a hand-finished look if you choose to add the sewing. I started off in between so that I could hide my knot. Then I just wanted to make sure that the pieces were firmly stitched together, and I made a stitch across the top, joining the two pieces together. Continue with a straight stitch all the way down one side. Keep in mind that you can turn as you need to and adjust accordingly to make sure it's easy for you to sew all the way down. When you get to the end of one side, just make sure your knots are hidden in between the felt. And if you need to, what you can do is just cut it off and tuck in the knot with your needle. You're ready to sew on the other side. And if you chose to use a glue gun, it's not a big deal. I think it still looks awesome and serves the same purpose. Then you'll want to cut your photo and slide it right into the pocket. Well, that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed watching how to make this DIY Polaroid frame, which can also be used for any kind of gift. It doesn't necessarily have to be an ornament. Now, I want to show you the ornament that I received, which is a sparkly Pray for Paris ornament made by the talented Mary Elizabeth. Thank you. We just love how it looks on our tree. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to also hear from you. Have you made any cool DIY photo gifts that you want to share? Please let me know in the comments below. Hope you feel inspired to keep on creating. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!